Whenever you come in and work out, and it's all about one on one, two on two, three on three, it makes it pretty fun. Has that been the case with, with most of the workouts? Uh, competitive side of it? Yeah, there's a lot of competitive kind of everywhere. They just do it differently, different types of drills. Uh, you know, sometimes just up and down stuff, sometimes just half court stuff, but it's probably, you know, the same stuff. Is that an advantage for you? Uh, for a guard, yeah, you know, I think it's it's a great thing. You know, you get to show you know your shooting abilities, you get into the rim, and obviously, like today, I got a lot of pick and roll sets where you know I got to play with big fellas, and you know, it just shows you so many different aspects of your game. You know, you showed you could score in the ACC. Is that probably your best attribute you think coming into the draft? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Uh, I scored the ball really well at BC for my three years there. Had a lot of big time games in terms of scoring wise, but uh, you know, I'm kind of just trying to show the same things I done at BC and probably. My, my my pick and roll sets and you know see the pocket pass and stuff like that so I get to see show a lot of things here. You more of a combo or, or point? Uh, I played point all my life, but uh, especially at BC I played you know on and off the ball with the ball. This year was kind of ball dominant. Lat lat my first two years was kind of like interchanging, but you know I'm comfortable with both. So whatever the coaching staff and the coach needs me to do, I do. For being in the Boston area, what's it like to be out over here, just considering the rivalry? Uh, no, it's it's big. Uh, you know, obviously you know the Celtics and the Lakers, a big rivalry. And uh, I grew up watching the Lakers a lot, and they always battle against the Celtics. So I know there's there's pretty good fans in Boston, and there's great fans in LA too. You play for Team Canada. Do you have any relationship with Steve Nash? Oh uh, yes, I do. Uh, Steve Nash took it over not too long ago. So I played U17 uh, with you know some pretty good guys, Bennett, uh, Wiggins, Pango, with sort a of few other guys. I played U19 and. Uh, these past few years, I've been involved with the training camp for the, for the men's that, team. How do you think that helps you playing with such a talented group, especially coming to the NBA where everyone's you know, really good? It helps a lot. You know, a lot of people under, uh, underestimate in, uh, international basketball. And I got the chance to play in a few world championships and just see the talent out there. And, you know, it's a different ball game, but, you know, it helps, it helps somebody like me just to, you know, go overseas and, you know, see different talent and go up against different type of guys. What's going on in Canada right now with all these really, really I know. I think there's more exposure, to be honest. These, these past, I would say, three, four years, you know, a lot of guys are coming up and, you know, having an impact in the NBA, and that's just opening doors for other players. What kind of interactions have you had with Steve through all this? Uh, I was kind of going back and forth with him back then uh, when I used to be more involved in the national team. These past few years with playing college basketball and having to be some school and stuff like that, you know, I'm kind of touch base through email sometimes, but uh, I'm definitely going to be in touch with him this summer. What kind of feedback has he given you? Uh, in terms of just, you know, whenever he sees me, he just talks about my game and, you know, kind of gives me pointers. And I was lucky enough to go to a few training camps with, you know, a great coach like Jake Triano that, you know, really shown me, you know, what point guards in NBA are like and kind of get a feel for that. So it was good. Growing up, how big of an influence was he on you? Steve Nash. Oh, it was big, you know, because he, you know, he had some pretty amazing years in the NBA. You know, he's not the most you know, athletic or dunking on people, but, you know, just his skill level and his, you know, attention to his craft and everything like that is amazing. Has this been a busy workout schedule for you? Can you name some of the teams you've worked with? Uh, definitely. It's, I think this is my eighth or ninth. So, you know, I have another. I came from uh, Minnesota, Houston, and Phoenix on my last three. So it's been kind of, you know, you go from spot to spot and, you know, you just, you know, show up with your basketball shoes. They give you a jersey and shorts and, you know, expect you to be ready to play. So it's been a fun experience. Obviously, it's a grind, but you only go through it once, so you got to enjoy it. With the draft less than three weeks away, what are some of the things you're going through on a personal level in terms of excitement to get yourself ready? And what do you need to show? Yeah, it is exciting. It is exciting, you know, for my family and me. But I'm just I'm just looking forward to these workouts. You know, I'm enjoying this process. I love going up against, you know, familiar faces, you know, people I see a lot, you know, during the college season. But, you know, it's just a fun experience. I'm just kind of soaking everything up.